Hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. This is going to be a makeup review and it's the new L'Oreal Paris Rouge Signature Liquid Matte Lipstick and that's what it looks like and I've got it in shade it is Empower. So I wanted a really nice corally brown nude type lipstick. I tend to like L'Oreal's lipsticks anyway but my favourite has been a Primark one and it's part of the nude collection and it's just high gloss, high shine lip gloss but um, yeah so that's what I've been loving it was part of a set for I think it's about three pound but I've also got a Huda Beauty one as well and this is in the shade Girlfriend and I quite like that as well that's a little bit darker though but I wanted a similar colour to this Primark one but in a matte so a longer lasting one because this is gorgeous but as we know with glosses they don't last that long you just have to keep on applying it all the time so yeah so I saw this in the shop the other day and I thought Do you know what I'm going to give it a go it cost £9.99 I got it from Look Fantastic I used my Glossybox credit so if you're a subscriber to Glossybox then you can accumulate credits to use on a Look Fantastic website which sells everything beauty plus it's got like free postage and packaging as well I've got to say you fill in a questionnaire every month after you receive your beauty box that's how you get your credits so then what is this lipstick like then let me just read you a little bit from my phone here so it comes in 11 shades you can see the shade I've got which is Empower it says create a statement lip with L'Oreal Paris Rouge Signature Matte Liquid Lipstick. Quite a long name there. Ultra lightweight and comfortable despite its soft matte finish. The bold liquid lipstick glides on effortlessly, laying down pure colour with a beer lip sensation. Providing all day comfort, the unique oil in water formula lets lip breathe, providing a comfortable matte veil without compromising on colour or finish. Never heavy or uncomfortable, the matte lipstick will leave lips looking vibrant with long lasting in effect up to 24 hour wear no flaking smudging or drying out now there's huge claims in that <laughs> and i'm gonna put it to the test it is currently nearly half past nine in the morning there i am gonna go out for the day i am gonna be drinking hot drinks i'm gonna be eating at some point as well so i'll come back to show you the final so probably probably around I don't know it says 24 hours so should we give it 12 hours I'll come back at half nine tonight around half nine ten o'clock tonight when I'm about to take all my makeup off to show you what it looks like so let's apply it I'll just zoom you in a little bit and prep my lips um, especially when they're a bit dry as well I've used this um, not that this is not sponsored by the way it's just I like L'Oreal Paris it's a lip scrub and I've done a video on this last year sometime and this is oh it's gorgeous it's in like like an apricot mango it looks disgusting but it's just a little lip scrub there but it's so nice my lips feel so so soft so i use that beforehand so before i apply it i just thought i'd show you the wand i'm really impressed with the wand it's a perfect sort of shape to apply lipstick on there can you see so it's very very thin there but the, it's got a nice point and it's quite wide so that means you're able to get right in your lips and you're able to create quite a defined outline as well so maybe not even need a lip liner but no I'm really impressed with that really impressed let's see if it works though it might not work <laughs> right let's try it Mm, the colour is pretty. The colour is really nice so far. I'm just going to apply it and then I'll chat afterwards. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> So that's the first layer I've done. I am going to put another layer on top. It's quite a sheer lipstick. I wasn't expecting it to be as sheer. It feels lovely. It just feels like you're putting a gloss lipstick on. So it'll be interesting to see how it mattifies down. But um, yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it sort of drying down, but it just feels so comfortable. But I want a little bit more colour payoff. So I am going to wait until it dries down a little bit and then I'm going to put another layer on. Actually, I'll do it now. It's dried now, but... No, I love the colour. I love it. I definitely prefer the second layer. It's not as opaque as the first layer, which shocked me a little bit. That's why I said it's like quite sheer. But no, oh, I love it. I'd say that it's a light coverage type lipstick. So you do need a few layers to build up the colour if you want to create more of an opaque finish. But uh, yeah, I am apprehensive i've got to be honest about how long this will last because it doesn't feel like a normal matte lipstick well compared to like the huda beauty one but um 
yeah we'll see we'll see but no really just so far love the color glad i bought it but let's see if it lasts so i'll come back in a little while and show you what it's looking like it's just gone 7 p.m at night i've just changed out of my clothes i'm looking really drabby my makeup is coming off my face so excuse all that so my thoughts on this lipstick then it's gone it went it went around three o'clock this afternoon and I've been busy since then with after school clubs and everything so I haven't had a chance to come on as soon as my lipstick started wearing off unfortunately but yeah I'd say pretty much from about three o'clock that there was hardly anything there looking at it now it's just got a tiny tiny bit underneath there like a little stain but no absolutely gone even though it did not last long at all on my lips and it did transfer i absolutely love it i think the feel of it is really nice it's supposed to have like a beer lip feel and it does it doesn't feel like you're wearing lipstick whatsoever the color is gorgeous for a more intense color you need to layer it up a bit which i did but um it also claims that there's no smudging no flaking no drying out on the lips and i 100 percent agree with that as well but then i did exfoliate my lips beforehand I don't know what it'd be like if I didn't do that but I generally do that if my lips are feeling a little bit dry anyway I usually go over with that exfoliator just for a minute or so and you know just to prep my lips before using a matte lipstick especially at most it lasted about four to five hours I'd say it did start coming off as soon as I had my cup of coffee earlier on so yeah so it doesn't last long but everything else is gorgeous the way it feels the wand everything yeah definitely a lipstick i would consider buying in different colors but i definitely not recommend it if you're looking for a long lasting lipstick so i think that's it really as always i'd love to know your thoughts have you got one of these what do you like about it what you don't like about it all your thoughts i'd love to hear so please comment down below i'll put links to this in the description as well so i'll show you where i bought it on the look fantastic website and all that so if you want to see more or see more detail then you're welcome to go down there but yeah so i hope you enjoyed this little mini review if you did it'd be lovely if you give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel for lots more videos to come so take care and i'll speak soon bye